response, I want to locate the role of imperialism in turning the Zimbabwe African People's Union ZAP, to win state power in 1980. We all know that ZAP was one of the six authentic liberation movements, namely People's Movement for the Liberation of Angola Black, Front for, Front for the Liberation of Mozambique, Frelimo, African National Congress, ANC, South West African People's Organization, SWAPO, African Party for the Independence of Guinea and Cape Verde, Bay. And of course, although it did not fight in the armed struggle, we refer to the United National Independence Party, UNIP of Zambia, as one of the authentic liberation movements. It gave basis to Zipra and MK. And of all these were funded and trained, armed by the Union of Soviet Socialist Republic, USSR, aided by Cuba and the rest of the Soviet bloc. This is why I'm well today. We represent communists in the region and the in Zimbabwe. It is also important to point out that Zapu, the party that Mdala were to lay, was not a communist party. Neither was it a socialist party. It was a broad mass movement, a liberation movement, which is popularly referred as the, as the broad church. But in 1978, I see Congress from Zapu here, in his ideological program, we quote Joshua Ngo when he said, I quote, the war of liberation in Zimbabwe is based on principles of scientific socialism, which alone brings genuine freedom to all the peoples of the way. I just quote. Uh, I always talk to Comrade Mandas of Zanupia to sit in that side, and we always argue. When they say it's unfair to socialists, and I always say, no, it is not. Uh, I will discuss Comrade Mandaza in another platform. But, but, but it's, it is important to point out that the Zan PF has never been socialist. Because in the political discourse, we are always told that the collapse of the Zimbabwean economy is based on the socialist principles or policies that were implemented by ZAN-PF in 1980, which is not correct. When ZAN-PF in its Congress in 1984 adopted what they called the leadership call, the late Dr. Edson Zobo said, I've never seen a socialist in ZAN-PF. So ZAN-PF was never a socialist, but we hope one day the Joshua Mkabo Common will arrange such another discussion when we look at the crisis, the economic crisis, Amaruza, and also speaking about the neoliberal agenda. Now, during the strategy for national liberation, it is also important to note, unlike in South Africa, where the South African Communist Party, of which I'm wearing the jacket, provided a, a theoretical a, a, a path or revol a revolution. The, in Zimbabwe or in Rhodesia, we did not have a communist party other than uh, the Southern Rhodesian Communist Party from 1941 to 1949. Uh, it fell apart when its leader, Wolfgang Dessing, returned to the German uh, uh, Democratic Party. He was a diplomat. So during the course of the struggle, we didn't have a communist party that was going to guide the National Liberation Movement, as was the case in South Africa. The strategy, which, which Dr. Mboff, this is very important, uh, for us to understand when you raise the question uh, of ethnicity or tribe in the split in 1963. <coughs> uh, uh, and, and the correct result, 
uh, quoting what Ndala said when they went to the meeting of the Organization of African Unity. We must admit that the strife for national liberation was waged during the bipolar way, during the Cold War. And uh, during the Cold War, the world was split into two. The Soviet, led by USSR, Cuba, and the rest of the socialist bloc, the United States of America, Britain, and their friends. When Zap, when Zap was about to split, Joshua Obama had made contact with the USSR. They made contact with Algeria when, when Zap was about to split in 1965. To curtail the influence of communists in the continent, you had to split the liberation movement. It was not only in Rhodesia, we have UNITA in Angola, later on with Freedom, I mean uh, uh, Renam in Mozambique. <coughs> and if, if you check in the rest of the continent, PAC in South Africa, it was the work of the imperialist forces. And the, and the Comrade Man, Nelson Mandela was arrested by the CIA on his way from Depe to Johannesburg. Was it 1962? It was CIA that assisted in arresting Nelson Mandela. Why? Because this farm is a body and the NK. It was bought by communists. But in South Africa, you could not use the ethnic question to split the liberation movement. The split in 1963, we submit, it was caused by imperialist forces who established the Capricorn Society, led by British intelligence officer David Staley who recruited young people on the pretext of providing a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a Davani is told, were recruited by the Capricorn Society, British Capricorn Society. Hmm. But, but you cannot use that as an excuse to explain why you are spitting. We have to use the ethnic card. What the doc was talking about. No, I don't have to school. It was a card to win to ensure how the split became successful. And then again, as, as I've already said, to say Obuti Zapu did not want to fight, it feeds into the theory. Which ZAN PF or ZAN at the time justified in the split of 1963? Putin, no. We split with ZAPU because and the others they didn't want to fight. It fits into that theory. And we know uh, it is not correct. ZAN to remain credible and to look more militantly than ZAPU. And emphasize the race among above class, as did PAC and the UNITA, all backed by the USA. The downside of this is that as long as a, a black leader is black, everything is fine. We economists were engaged in a gas plant. I'm 
I'm trying to jump over the Uti and I wanna sell it for Dora, sell it in a full product or the Ukuba Kumi. By the way, France, even more than Britain, has retained control over its colonies, which mostly continue to pay colonial tax. The former colonies of France, those that follow us on YouTube, who have spoken about this, they pay colonial tax. You cannot enter into a military agreement with any country without the approval of France. Mali recently <coughs> had to pull out and say to Uti, the French military must give uh, Mali and they, they rejected the currency of France. But one of them news the currency the ECOWAS. I, I, I will not go into, into details about the, the skirmishes that happened between Zebra uh, and, and uh, Zanda uh, during the war. As I move into conflict, I want us to understand how the imperialists celebrated when ZANU PF under, under the leadership of Robert Mugabe Ward in 1980. This is a quote from one of their diplomats. Um, he says uh, it was a US diplomat, Andrew Young, and I quote Despite widespread doubt outside Zimbabwe about the strength of Mugabe's political constituents, he had achieved a solid electoral victory over both Bishop Abel Muzorel, on whom both Britain and South Africa had placed their hopes, and Joshua Ngobu, who enjoyed military support from the Soviet bloc. The, the unexpected size of his majority gave Mugabe an unequivocal mandate, which greatly simplified the task of the British in handing over power. The Zimbabwe settlement must also be reported as a victory of the Western Allies in cooperation with the Organization of African Union or AU. It signaled a, renew a renewal of the cooperation in decolonization which came under Western leadership and the via the United Nations during the 1950s and 1960s. And it curtailed at least temporarily the trend toward growing dependence on Soviet military. Close quote. That, this is how uh, uh, the imperialist forces celebrated. In the political discourse, post 2000, Mugabe portrays himself as the soldier against the imperialist forces. It is the imperialist forces that came the power to Zan in 1980. <coughs> when the genocide was happening, Britain was rolling a red carpet to Mugabe. Let me is taught. When 200 white commercial farmers were killed, it is when Britain began to see with Mugabe no other color. But, but we must also understand that the sanctions imposed on the political leadership in Zimbabwe was not as a result of a political violence directed at the opposition. Because the imperialists, they will always dump you, they don't love you. They ask is to exploit the resources. The reason why Mugabe got dumped by the imperialists was his involvement in the Congo War in 1998. When Rwanda and the Uganda were used as proxies by the United States to attack the DRC. This is what is happening again today. Rwanda is attacking the DRC. Rwanda is the first country outside Saddam to send its military in Mozambique, undermining Saddam countries. It is not doing this out of goodwill. It is doing this for the purposes of exploiting 
uh, or as a front of the American. So Joshua Cobb became a victim of imperialist forces. But, but of course, as, as, as I conclude, uh, I said that we would send our notes to the Joshua Cobb Foundation. We agree with Dr. Cobb. That uh, the liberation movement in the May was led by the nationalists and the, the Comrade Lenin in the Second International submitted a resolution which was adopted. <laughs> At that time, it was said in the backyard, backward countries in Africa. Communists must work with liberation movement. This is why uh, the, the alliance between the African National Congress, SACP, Y, ZAPU, and others were supported by communists. But Cuba and the Soviet Union advised ZAPU and the Zipra in particular, not to go to Lancaster House. We are true with the Dr. Bob on that. Because Zipra had military power to capture Sosko. But for, for, some, for some reasons, uh, that did not happen. The Lenin taught us that compromise should only take place when there was no other option. When compromise will take us a step forward, and if in then, <coughs> after the compromise, we should not remain in the same place, we should continue to move forward. There was no reason in 1979 to go to Lancaster House. There was no reason in 1991 to enter into Port Desa talks. The ANC in 1994 screamed the freedom. The SACP said democratic freedom. And the Kwame Krumah characterized it correctly. And because this was a, a product now of a negotiated settlement, that, that you become a neo-colonial state post liberation. Because what, what happened, you, you were now reforming the system. You can have your black president, you will have your black parliamentarians, your black <coughs> cabinet, but the economy remains in the hands of the colonizers. This is why today, Shashanaks and others, they will not go in the challenge, uh, uh, the Oppermia families, no. They will come, they will come here and hey, because we are fighting for little resources, but our economy remains untransformed. Aman. Aman. Okay. See, when I was at the uh, NES in secondary school, I used to fantasize about communism. In fact, if you look at my my outfit today. Uh, I think I saw this in one of the textbooks where Black Bear Lady And I read it up with that. <laughs> but, but somewhere along along the line, uh, my love for communism just went fizzled out. Because I began to think that maybe they were daydreaming. Right. What he just said, <laughs> just revived a little bit of, you know, the remnants of communism in my head. I will go back and do a little bit of study. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you very much uh, for a great presentation from Mama uh, Pena and Absentia and Dr. Kampofu. Now, I think we've all been listening and we also want to hear this. We all have something to say. I'm going to extend a little bit of opportunity for 
questions, comments, remarks. But maybe because I'm already standing here, let me just take advantage and say, I say when, when you come and both just completed this talk, I said that, uh, you know, I was controlling tears that kept, you know, meaning to roll down my life for one simple reason. And when Obama Bena was speaking, he almost touched on it also. You see, the issue of Operation Zero Hour, I'm not sure how many people have heard about it, but it was an example, a supra top secret about that military operation that was designed to, to usher a, you know, Zimbabwe to zap through a military takeover. Infrastructure was already in place, but it was terminated far too early and regrettably so. But maybe without taking too much time to lament all those, may I ask for questions, remarks, comments from the floor? You are as you begin to talk, please, please introduce yourself, then make your statement. You can talk wherever, you can talk from where you are. So anyway, me now you enter the world. This is probably So, so, I'm going to Number eight. If Therefore, Number eight, you correct it. Are they children of survivor? Who are the seven of the two? You are in the day. Yes, what is it? 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 Yes, what is so therefore, we are children of survival, not distance. And I think everyone must, must check, put it in their minds. Not of some very distant. I can live a corner, a foot as a little corner, and I do zip. So it is very important for us because she is usually she teaches so, internet in a
Sikisa wana watu tu wa masenzi scout. Wati pipla bebe mazipro. Na wati beti wa mazipro. Ipe dali na tu. Sadi bebe nizu ya. Into ezi sushung. Zinkulu mege zizwa da. E, Ushung. Mabe kuma ito ze pizu misawa foetu. E, si kwele da. Mahamba hamba mfagisa ajez kwa me. Ndara mamuda ni nata. Pass the tribalism in Zimbabwe. Let's to build the Zimbabwe is the Zimbabwe. Like other African countries. Ababwe zao, in Pugne da lebe kwa rong kumret. Ye wo ye. Historically, it's yes, nice issue. I'm not that part of the budget. Because it's in the solution. You have any target to come home. Was close to the old man. Uba abun kumo inter niazwe, it means tegeza gada ichi. Umsika etatele yin dota. Ipe pala lipa wengi ito onilia yi. That is correct. Bagiti. Benkeru utiku lababa acha. From 1980 kusiza na mtlanti. Just to build in Zimbabwe. Just forget. Asoze kuchinchi utis nama ofet. And asoze kuchinchi tukwa kule regime wa swim. Asoze kuchinchi tukwa kule regime ya bo. Oh, you didn't scan company. I remember Kafen Todd, who Baba got duty. The Sabbath in the corner, six hour in my swing. Because of Zoko, I was there. Who then talked to intelligence? This his intelligence is going together. If we have a good intelligence, we have a good history, you can't be a politician. Before then, you go for the history, go for the politics. I'm a comrade. I'm very sorry to say that language. See, you know, I'm a business that I want to say Zimbabwe. As I'm telling you, as I'm traveling to do that, but it's still figured out. It's so to as my name we nail 1972. Baham Baba says I'm from Kingos. Venture sport. I want to say Zimbabwe. The cool people in the Lamangis. I want to say school at Zambia. See, I'm a foot from Kutwezis. See, I'm a foot from Kutwezis. See, I'm Belana. I'm a Zanzibar. Sikula bantu na bingozi, unkulukula bilani ezes mbape, lina ketani, uziabo pinga uziabo mazia chonjo la, uvaluma sindo no muzi sienda ni ezes zile uti, yeska tisemi, la bote la kuto bivi a inkaro zoke zes, best is mine na kanda zgechwa, kiti bolos kigo kusia, wazi na kana ni simani, sike pa i kodi te enyat, eneza. I was a businessman in South Africa. 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 In Kona, in my peers, Bapa, for resources, not as a Bapa. Who could take your two feet a month? Your mother tatted my plank has been a fitting. Sorry to say that, Conrad.